So I just want to quickly share with you the background of some of our top advisors. So I'll share with you five of them. Kung ano yung ginagawa nila before before they joined AIA, before being our financial advisor, or ano yung ginagawa para nila ngayon, no? Because one of them is also still employed, but still being one of the top advisors here in this industry para makita mo kung kaya mo rin or para sa'yo rin ito. So, our top advisor last year, and in fact, I think for the past two to three years, siya rin yung top advisor, um, is still very young, I think about 33, 34 years old, has been in this industry for the past 11 years already, kasabayan ko, started I think 22 or 23 years old. So, um, ang background niya, he was an employee, but then during that time, he felt unappreciated. Um, he knows that he's good, he's hardworking, he's doing his best, pero not appreciated by the company. So he decided to leave and transfer uh, full-time to the AIA and become a financial advisor. So now, he's been earning about siguro, 3 to 4 million in a year easily in this business. All right, so, and then another advisor, another top advisor, iba naman yung story niya. So she is a wife of a lawyer, so kaibang background. So she doesn't really need to work for money, but she does this for, to be recognized, to also uh, validate her, her being really good, no? So na, na magaling din siya, that she's also valuable to show her kids that she can also make her own money. And, you know, and, and, and when I was am with her, um, you know, hindi talaga ito nag-iisip ng, no, ng, ng gagastusin. Talagang she can decide on her own money. So and I'm, I'm sure a lot of wives are also like that. No? Na gusto nila, they can also decide on their own. Pag meron silang gusto bilhin, gusto nila man libre, just wanna give gifts, mag-book ng travel and all. So siya, ganun siya. No? So she wants, uh, kumbaga, freedom ng sarili niyang decision and of course fulfillment na nakakatulong din siya sa ibang tao so that's a very different background then and probably that's why she's successful the third person I would want to share with you is dati naman siyang secretary no? is staff siya and then eventually she decided na okay no, I want to step up and do something bigger than what I'm doing right now um, of course, she is personable, uh, very friendly, ganyan, mataas yung energy, so I think it helped. So doon siya nag-start, no? start siya sa mga friends niya, tinulungan siya, binigyan siya ng mga referrals. So even though wala siyang warm market na malaki, um, still she was able to be successful in this industry. And you know, seven times na rin, one of the top producers for the past seven years, seven time MDRT, MDRT is called million dollar round table so when you uh, hit the qualification you become top two percent of all the financial advisors worldwide so ganda rin ang story itong tao na to no from being a secretary now to being a top advisor right another person i will share with you ito naman rookie naman namin um one of our rookies uh, actually our top rookie for last year she is still employed today she's employed in a bank in fact uh, nagdadalawang isip pa rin kung mag-retire, mag-resign siya doon or this. No, last year, she gave birth January last year. So kahit bagong panganak, ayun. So still doing this business kasabay ng trabaho niya sa bangko. She's in the back office naman, alright? Not a teller, alright? So, um, and, and yun, so she has more time pag umuwi, ganyan, or on a weekend, um, but still, still super busy. In fact, no, nag, ano nga, no, she, she said na babawi nga siya this year kasi feeling niya uh, limited pa yung nagawa niya last year. Alright? So, still an employee, uh, working in a bank, limited yung time, but still our top rookie. So, I think it's not about your background. It's not about if, whether you're employed right now or not. It's about your determination on how much you want to make things happen. Alright? And, the last person, yung pang lima, is my, my classmate no, in, in college. Um, so this person, former OFW. So he went home for good 2019 and then nag-pandemic. 
So, nag-start ng business, hindi ganun kalakas. So, I approached him last year, another rookie. Nag-usap kami. And again, he decided to add this into what he's doing. So, in fact, you know, he had two branches of his bike shop. He decided to close one kasi it's not really making that much money just like a lot of businesses out there. He kept one branch, yung main branch. Alright? And then, dinagdag uh, ito. And he, beca he became our top two rookie last year, right? Kasama sa mga trip incentives and all. And again, you know, stepping up this year to become a leader and grow his income and his business here in AIA. So, I share this with you because probably you're thinking of an opportunity this year. You're looking for another business to add or you're looking for another income to add in whatever you're doing right now hindi masama magkaroon ng two or more than two sources of income or probably you're looking for you know expansion to just to grow your income maganda yung negosyo mo ngayon maganda yung income mo ngayon but alam mo kulang sa laki ng expenses you want to probably transition to another career to another business napapagod ka na sa trabaho mo ngayon na meron ka or you just want fulfillment na yung gusto mo lang makatulong sa ibang tao you just want to be appreciated want to be recognized or masulit yung hard work na alam mong binibigay mo. If you feel that you deserve better, you deserve a better life, a more fulfilling life, then most probably you are looking for the opportunity that we have to be an AIA life planner. So all you need to do is message me, reach out to me, go to my Facebook page and just go to facebook.com slash official and reach out to me, message me, so that let's see if we can work together. So that's it for this video.